today is a walking around on my own day. Uh, just felt like exploring in London a little bit more before going back. So I'm just going to walk around taking the train into the city. And for now, we're just going to see what happens. I really need these signs. It's raining in London really badly. I bought an umbrella. It's awesome. It's kind of calm in comparison. So, you know, outside, I guess. Kind of miserable, but I don't care. Look at this cute little street. It's so pretty even in the rain. Oh, I like London. Despite all the rain, I like being in London. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of nice in the rain because it's not as many people. You can kind of have a little bit more sidewalk space to yourself. Also, you can jaunt around with a cute little umbrella above you like this, so it could be a lot worse. I think I'm having a good time. Meanwhile, is it delusional to keep wearing sunglasses? Probably. It's a kind of a funny experience. Uh, a guy and I made eye contact in the street and I like did a, like a mm -hmm. thing. And he stopped and started talking to me and he was like, Oh, you're so approachable. You've got such a sunny dis disposition. And I was like, okay. I was like, are you Irish? I was like, no. Where are you from? The U.S. Oh my god, that's so cool. You have a lovely day. I was like, okay, bye. Check it out. I found a fellow American. What up, bro? Long time now. Yeah, basically London is kind of dead at the moment. Because, like... I'm in Grosvenor Square, by the way. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, I'm not ready to go back yet, so I'm going to keep going even though it's raining. Like, pretty significant. Look at this. See all those, like, raindrops? I got an umbrella. Do you have an umbrella? No, because you're watching this on the screen. Actually, this park is really cool. It's, like, got life-size game pieces. Like, I could totally step onto this and be, like, one of the squares. And over oh, there's checkers, there's Connect Four there. Pretty cool. If it weren't raining. Aw oh, man, London. I thought we were getting along so well and then I found a statue of Ronald Reagan. I disapprove. I mean this is all about taking down the Berlin Wall. Like there's a piece of the Berlin Wall right there. See? But still, I don't like Reagan. <laughs> Personal opinion. Don't get all huffy. Oh, that's why there's so many American people around here. This is the American Embassy in London. That makes sense. I think this is some sort of accomplishment. I'm in a train car completely by myself. And that never happens to me in Paris. I didn't think it would happen to me in London, but I guess I'm just like the cock of the walk right now. Also, I just, oops, I dropped my umbrella. I need to show you this. Um, I'm such a child. I think that's the funniest thing. Okay, bye. I've been doing a bit of a social experiment since I've been in London. Well, more like when I've been in London on my own. But essentially, every person I make eye contact with somebody in the street, I'll smile at them, kind of like, or something, like, not like, but like, a little like acknowledging smile like I would at home, just to see how the reaction would be. Because in Paris, it would just be like, either, uh, or, uh, so I just wanted to see what happened, and my findings, unscientifically founded, are girls just kind of ignore you, and men will be like, hello, so, eh, something to note. One thing that I cannot get over in England is that they drive on the opposite side, and the drivers are on the opposite side, so every time I see a car that's only being driven by like one person, there's no passengers, I think... For a split second, it's being driven by a ghost. It's messing with my head.